All right, so this is your Great Britain. I definitely like this on a buy because look, this is where I got my my little supply and demand zone, and this is like a zone area where you want to buy, and you can put your take profit right here. Um, what else I like? I like also Great Britain JDY. Great Britain and VD on the daily. Let me see what this looks like. Uh, this is on the daily chart. Um, uh, not sure about this too much. Looks like it already hit the stop. Stop loss. This is like a little great zone right here. But this is why, let me see, let me zoom out on here. See, it doesn't really show. It's like not a really a, a good, good zone on where you want it to. See, that's why I didn't take that. I wouldn't have took that trade. All right. Um, let's look at this right here. Gold. Let's look at gold on the four hour chart, on the day chart. Uh, let's get rid of all this crap. Um, so. Let's get rid of all this crap. I see why gold, this would be a good buy. But, look, it came here, came down, came up, came down. Will it go down further, all the way back to this zone here? Or can it come down here? That could be really tricky. Because, look, Pick out the tools, vertical line. Oops, why am I getting out the vertical one? I always do that crap. Tools, horizontal. This is like the sell zone right here, the buy zone. Before it can start going back up. Yeah. So yeah, I would. I'm leave, I'm gonna leave that one alone. So let's look at something else. Uh, let's see you. Cad JPY. On the four hour. It already started dropping actually. Damn, that thing hit the, um, look, it came all the way up here. Is this zone here and started dropping? That thing dropped pretty quickly. Wow. Alright, well, missed that opportunity. Um. That's gold, gold. Great Britain, New Zealand, let's look at that. This is on a day chart. I don't know about that. Came here, came down, came here, came down, came back up again. Is it gonna go back? I mean, all of this is like a so let's look at Great Britain, New Zealand. I don't even trade that pair. I'm 
on the big chart. I didn't even hit the zone yet. I don't know about that, guys. I, look, you wanted to hit this zone here before you even sell it. It came to this zone. I'm good. Don't like it. Um, what else we got here? We did. We, we talked about gold too, right? So let's look at gold. Uh, gold on the on the day chart. Day supply and demand. Ugh. Oh man! All right. So went up, came down. Went up, came down. Hmm. It's definitely in a buy zone. This is the buy zone on a day chart. I mean, if it breaks the zone here, and the candle went up, so it's definitely in a buy zone. You know, gold will be a good little buy. Um, you could put this is on the day chart, so you could put your stop loss right below the the wick here or even a little bit closer I mean if it comes back down so you can put your stop loss at 1207 this thing went all the way as low as 1210 wow sure you can even save your stop loss if it comes back down to 1209 get out 1209 and then you can uh, let's see This is the high right here. So you can get out right around. Oh, sorry, guys. I did this wrong. Let's delete all. Delete arrows. Delete all arrows. Uh, delete. Alright. So you want to draw this from here about here right so look uh, maybe I'll load this up a little bit oops I'm not trying to move the zone I'm trying to move this oh great all right anyway let's just have an idea okay so it's around here so you want to get out about right here, which is around 12.43. That could be your first take profit, and 12.54 could be your second take profit. All right, that's on gold. Let's see if I had that right. Chart. So, for gold, put that in the trash can. For gold, it wanted twelve eleven. Twelve eleven to be the um to hit point. They wanted you to get out of here at twelve fifty six. So you can put your stop loss around, remember what I told you earlier, right? Uh, around the 12, I was thinking like the 1209 area if you ask me. I'm not going to take that much risk. I wouldn't take that much risk. So 1209 area is where I would get out at. It's just me. but. What do I know? Gold could keep dropping, so you got to take. So you want to, you don't want to take that much risk. Or you can put your buy stop order here, and if it breaks that high, then you know, you can make your buy stop here and your stop loss down here, at the twelve eleven area, and your buy stop could be at twelve thirty four. And if you know, want to place it going up, and you can get out at twelve fifty six. 
alright so those are different ways you can trade you know if it, if it breaks here you could you could be a breakout trader you can put get out you can put it at 1235 as your is your pending order your buy stop and you can get out at the previous candle low which was 12 so you'd be 1234 and you can get out at uh, like right here like 12 12 1220 somewhere around there and get out at 1256 so that's that's what I look for gold but um I really like AU I like I like AUCAD I really like this a lot you know I like this a lot you know this is on the day chart you know this is the this is my little zone area so let's look at AUCAD again on the daily you know See, all of this is um is a buy zone. All of that. Yeah, all of that is a buy zone. So um this whole area is a buy zone but I really like this a lot so yeah I like that I like it you can as a buy so my analysis is going to be buy a you can buy buy gold and Great Britain JPY. Um, is that buy? No. And buy Euro Great Britain. Let me see Euro Great Britain on the day chart though. I mean, actually, I wouldn't buy Euro Great Britain just yet. I mean, this is a, a buy zone. But I want to see like an aggressive. I don't know. It's just I feel like it could come back down even lower. Like that could be a fake out. I'm just not sold on it yet. I'd rather buy it down here. On the day chart. Why? Why would I want to buy it here? I just, I just feel it can come down just a little bit more. I don't know why. But I mean, it's if you guys want to be aggressive and you can buy it now, put a small stop loss. Like a little bit below these candles, um, your stop loss could be at seventy five twenty three. So uh, you could do that as well. So buy Euro Great Britain. Just put it a little, just put it below the wick of this candle here, and buy it, and then make your take profit around this area. So that's it for now, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. My analysis on my swing trades, Euro Great Britain, Gold, and AUD CAD. Hopefully you like it. That's just my analysis. I'm about to get me some Z's, and these are going to be my, my trades for the week. So, see you guys on the other side.